Hey, this is Marius from Please Fix, and today I'm going to show you how you can create this super cool PowerPoint effect in just five minutes. So let's get started. So this one is pretty simple. We just wanting to put in a space background at first that you're going to use for this presentation. Um, and then we're going to insert some 3D models here. So you're going to stock 3D models. And then we scroll down until we have space. Of course, you can do that with any other 3D objects that you might like. And then we are going to choose those three 3D models. And then it's gonna take a second until PowerPoint will put them in. Okay, so now they're stacked on top. That's why you can't see it. One, two, three, all right, and now we are first going to make them a little bit smaller and then we are going to put them all centered you can also do that here arrange align to center align to middle and then it should be the same for you okay when we now have those three we want to put them in the middle so if you group then that's option command G okay and then it will take this as one object and then you can put them in the center of the slide so not centered on each other but centered on the slide so one and two so it seems like this was already in the center on the slide and then we're just going to duplicate the slide and make this one really big okay now i'm going to zoom out as well a little bit and we don't need that and i'm going to turn the earth a little bit all right then i'm going to do the same here i'm going to make this bigger but not as big as on the first slide and keep it how it is and now we're going to insert some text so simply some text, we are going to use earth here. So like that, Futura, bold, and we're going to make it 199. And then we're just going to put that centered. And then we're going to do the same to the middle like that. You can also do that here, just like I said. Now we are going to duplicate earth. So for that, hold Control and Shift and pull up and then release the mouse. And there you go. So we're going to do that again, just like so. I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. So now we have those three Earths, <laughs> actually four on here. And now if we're going to mark them all and say align and distribute vertically, it's going to take a look. This was already dis distributed perfectly, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we're going to mark this, a hold shift and mark this as well. And then we're going to go to text fill, say none, and then go to outline and choose white. So now, as you can see, we now have this really cool outline effect on earth. If that one is too narrow, we are just going to make it a little bit wider so this doesn't change anything anymore now it looks better right okay now we're going to mark those three copy them copy them here and then do this again all to the center i'm going back with Control z as i can show you here align to middle and they're all stacked on top so what this creates if we now choose the second slide and use transitions and then at morph, you will see what cool effect we have created already with just a few minutes of work. But now we want to even take it up a notch. So first, I want to have this in the other way around. So now I'm going to remove morph here and add morph here. So now the effect is basically the other way around. But then we're just going to duplicate this slide now. And then we're going to stack them on top again, just like we did before. And now we're going to make the text smaller, like 17 maybe. I think that looks good. 
Now I want to make the earth smaller again, like so, and pull it up and also turn it so it has a cool effect. So now we have earth, oops, now we have earth like that. Now I have marked all the text again. This is actually not working. So I can show you something here. When you have trouble in selecting the right shapes, you can go here and go to selection pane. And then you can choose just the text boxes and then you will just have those. And which makes it much easier. Okay. So now we can also use those 3D models here to also move them into different directions, right? So I'm just going to turn that and make it smaller again. Um, you can see what I'm doing with my fingers on uh, the keyboard as well. So just like this. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. And we're just going to mark both of them. And as you know, they're already on here on this slide. But let's remove them here. And now add them, right? So now we're just going to move them outside of the slide, which will give a really cool effect when we add morph now and turn them again. So remember, remove them here as well. So these are the three, the two other planets that we have on here. So we can also make them bigger for extra effect, basically like that. And then if we are go going to use morph, which is already on here, and let me preview that. Isn't that cool? But you can see that we have one problem now. This is clipping. Why is it clipping? Because this is in front of the earth on this slide, but behind the earth on that slide. So now we're going to choose those two and then we're going to 3D model. And then the selection pane again, which we already have open. And now we want to move them behind the 3D model, but in front of the picture, because that's our background. Also here on the background, we can do another thing. So now the background fills out the whole slide, but for ex extra depth, basically, we can also move the picture around a little bit. So here we are zooming into earth but we can kind of create a feeling of depth with this effect. If we're just going to pull it bigger, it's going to get small on the second slide. So let me show you that transition. You see the background is moving and we can basically do the same here as well. So we're just going to make it bigger here. And then as you can see, if I'm using morph again, who that's so cool, right? So that's, basically the tutorial for now. If you liked the video, please give me a like, a follow. Um, I appreciate it a lot. I'm looking forward to, to make those videos even better in the future and also launch a course. So uh, let's stay tuned for this. See you guys in the next one. Thanks.